real motion get us. For well, real. Yeah. We live and direct, man. Yeah. Live and direct. Live and direct. We're still in BR, right? Still in there, right? This is the wreck, man. This is BR. We from Man <laughs> Rudge. You hear me? This is the wreck. Not Chirac, like, Chicago, that rap. Please really go down at our hands. For real. Right. You know what I'm saying? We got older now. You feel me? Niggas is gone. Niggas in jail. Yeah, niggas used to be. Niggas, niggas used to tell the shit down, but now niggas in jail and shit. Culture. Niggas used to be fucking with us. 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 Niggas used to yeah, over here. Right, yeah, 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 they got a mule. Bro, Lenox, though. Yeah, you know we fucked Lenox. Lenox, we fucked Lenox. 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 That's where young boy from, 38 and Chippewa. Yeah, yeah. Murder zone right here. So it's drive right. Yeah, drive Valley Club. Valley Club. Alright, baby, you already know who the mother f it is, aka it is I, the biggest cactus this side of the Mississippi. And today, as you can see, I am in a down south staple, aka a gem of a city, aka the great city of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. We're also known as Dat Rat. BR is a city I have always wanted to explore ever since I was a young punk ass skater kid bumping little boozy badass every day on my walk to school. From that special time in history when boozy and the Trill fam were setting sh on fire, it was safe to say that BR had definitely blazed a trail in terms of the music space and made way for acts like Kevin Gates, NBA Youngboy, Tech, Fredo Bang, and hella others. It, BR or Dat Rack, if you will, has become an absolute machine when it comes to churning out and developing quality talent. So once again, I had to see it for myself. I had to see what was in these swampy ass waters out here. So when the homie Ant Honcho, an up and coming artist and entertainer from the area, invited me out for a quick show around, of course, it was an absolute no brainer. So of course I hit the road jack. However, as I was coming into Baton Rouge, it started hurricane storming than a motherfucker. So I was definitely like, God damn, I just traveled all this way. Surely nobody's going to want to pop out now, right? Wrong. Lucky for me, Ant was still down to ride around and give us the scoop on Baton Rouge. Plus, he said in a way, the rain was kind of a blessing in disguise, seeing as though there is indeed an active ass war going on in the streets right now. Which was confirmed not only by the homies Lux and Bina. Well, you know, it's a lot of going on over there. We're from here. Glenn. <laughs> I will bring you over there because it's up around there right now. No, you know I know it's a war zone, so I appreciate it. But by the piece the Taboo Room put out on their YouTube channel a few weeks prior. Prior to coming here, I was a bit skeptical. There's an active war going on right now. Um, and I've been to a lot of dangerous places and I've never felt as much on edge as I have in Baton Rouge. This record shattered in Baton Rouge. The city has seen 34 homicides in just the first three months of this year, shattering the record of 27 homicides in the first quarter of 2021. Holy sh**. Not to mention, Louisiana ranks top five year after year in terms of murder rates in the US. So safe to say, I was not trying to push my luck. Nonetheless, we still managed to hit the road and see a multitude of sections in which some of your favorite Baton Rouge rappers come from. So without further ado, come with me the biggest cactus as we see what life was like in this talent breeding yet extremely treacherous ass city. AKA, let's take a little ride around Baton Rouge or that rack, Louisiana war zone. All right, babe, biggest cactus. Okay, I just touched down in the BR, aka Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Yeah, welcome to that rake, you know. You okay. already know what it is. Van Huncho, you hear me? You know, follow me into crush with them. I'm becoming an artist, I'm becoming an entertainer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? YouTube. Definitely. Uh, I've seen a few of your skits and whatnot, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I know you said you're getting ready to audition for some actor Yo, roles. Yeah, all right, three, four, you hear me? So you were telling me earlier that you kind of experienced childhood coming back and forth between here and Texas. Yeah, all my life type right. when I was young. Okay. Yeah. So in a nutshell, for people at home, what's it like coming up in Baton Rouge? Like if you had to phrase it up in a couple of sentences. 
it's you know what I'm saying. It's, it's kind of it's a different. It's a it's a it's an obstacle. You hear me? You just gotta get through this shit type shit. You know, but if you living the right way, you good. But if you thugging this shit, you know what I'm saying. You gonna you gonna you gonna you gonna, you gonna follow the victim for this. Shit. Okay. For so real. A little bit of an obstacle, but you said. If you're living the right way, so you don't, yeah, you don't yeah. have a choice out here. Hey, yeah, this is definitely a choice. Everybody got a choice. You know, so you either want to thug or you gonna go to school. Which way you want to do? Right. Type, you know. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely that. So right now, yeah, currently, man. you said we're right next to LSU. Yeah, this LSU town. This this uh this this Tigerland right here. This over there. This all Tigerland. Type. This all Tigerland. So the college students stay. Like, if a nigga from Baton Rouge want to duck off, this is where they duck off it. over here. I duck off from. It's a lane or something like that. But this ain't no, this, the other side is, is the war zone. This okay. other side of Tiger Land, you know? Okay. <laughs> you go down the street, you turn level, we finna go by my ancient <laughs> So it's a war zone. A little right. bit of war zone. But this right here, this is good over This This the good side. Speaking of war zones, well, everywhere I see, you know, Baton Rouge this, Baton Rouge is that. Like, why is Baton Rouge so divided up right now? Oh, why is it so divisive? It's, it's, it's in, it's, you no, know, niggas picking sides doing <laughs> shit type <laughs> Yeah, but like, niggas. It's, it's really, it's been like that though. It's been like that all really? like, it's just young niggas taking over the game. Really? Yeah, yeah, it's been like this. It's been like this. It's just young niggas the game, they back door and now. You feel me? We ain't never back door. I'm a 90s baby, this 2000 baby the game, but these niggas out here crashing out, doing all type of shit. What is the cause of that? Is it just like the music? I feel like it's the music. Okay. The music, the music. Okay. It's the music. You know, I hear that a lot. It's the music and the drugs. You know, these little niggas, these niggas out here on H out here. These little niggas out here on heroin. Really? What? Hey, yeah. Yeah, 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 most definitely fitting out too. Fitting oh, out man. too. What? My little cousin died up there. Rest in peace. Yeah. So you said you were back and forth between here and Texas, kind of comparing and contrast. Uh, going back and forth, you know what I'm saying? What are some differences between the two, good and bad? So the, the accents, the accents. It's the same, it's the same. They, they, it's the same. It's the That's same it's type of shit. The difference is they, they feel they, like they, it's easier living out easier there. Easier living in Texas too, but the same, it's an obstacle too. Okay. You gotta get through shit. Like, you gotta get through It's the same Where shit. Where would you say has more opportunity? Oh, uh, Houston. Most definitely Houston or Dallas. Most Houston definitely, Dallas. yeah. Most definitely. Just Houston, being, just Houston. Man, yeah. Houston, yeah, yeah. Most definitely. But at the same time, they got their bullshit. Okay. They most definitely got their bullshit out there. Most, most definitely, de right? Most definitely, bro. Real talk. Well, like you said, you can yeah. pick and choose. And yeah, stuff. pick and choose. You can pick and choose, bro. Like, real talk. You can pick and choose what you want to do in life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Real shit. You going to thug. You gonna just know what it's, what it's gonna lead to. Or if you wanna, you know, do good in school and go to school to be somebody you could do that too and be successful in life. Okay. And come out here in the ducked off areas, you feel me? Or out of town somewhere and live good. Is this considered more the south side? Oh uh, yeah, this is the south side. You can say this is the south. Okay. This is the south. This is this, this the old south Baton Rouge. Like I say, the other side is fucked up. It's messed up. <laughs> I'm gonna take you through that. I'm gonna take you through that. Let's go, let's go. You know. And my dog, we finna go over there right now. We finna go over there right now, you hear me? And my dog Lux, you hear me? And my, that, that, my, that my dog Lux, you hear me? That's Bina. Okay. That little Bina right there. Yeah, that little Bina. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we finna, we, finna, we finna come over. We finna go. We finna come over. We on our way. Get that up. Get that up. Go get a raw. Go get a soul. Up that bitch and let it blow. Go get a raw. Go get a soul. Hey, up that bitch and let it blow. Yeah. Don't. Come on, let's get it. We cut some big s. Say the bitch put up that baby girl. Yeah. Somebody's gonna kill something, zip something. You gotta show me something. I'ma up this bitch, I'ma blow this bitch. I'ma show you that it's really dumb. Cut the line. Bullets flying, headshot, I got me one. Ooh, step, step on, on that boy, quick. Living with talking out of sight. That's a nigga right on his dick. Lately, I've been in my bed, roll running, breaking on the beat. But you put me in a song, you ain't dead when I'm attentive to this s. Okay, got my attention. What's your own? My little brother right here. Okay. Man, talk your okay. little brother, you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> man, show him something. Fuck that, you hear me? For real. We live and direct, man. 
Yeah. Live and direct. Live and direct. We're still in BR, right? Still in there, man. This is Rack, man. This is BR. We from Baton Rouge. You hear me? This is Rack. That raggedy, man. That's big raggedy. That's how we record it right here. This is how we record it. In the trenches. This is how you catch the vibe. This how we record it. We ain't got no big studios down here. This is the vibe right here. Everything we do is trenches. This is how we record it, man. 225, baby. You know, yeah. Okay, pull that shit. Pull up the, the mixtape, man. Fresh rap steady booming, his phone steady jumping. Girl, my hang this bitch up if you ain't talking about no money. I'm like, hold up, here we go again. Chop a bullets in the wind. I'm torn with that Draco, but I hit him with that FN. Fuck a nigga, bitch, I'm like that. No, I say, fuck a nigga, bitch, no, he ain't like that. Lux Moon, you know what sound L's up and get your head bust, man. We in that mother wet, nigga. Yeah, we back in Baton Rouge. <laughs> what do you guys keep calling it? What is it though? What? That, that rack, man. That, that rack. rack. Not rack. shot rack like Not Chicago. That rack. I ain't never been nowhere outside of Baton Rouge a day in my life. Really? Nah, I'm playing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm joking. That's crazy. I'm joking. Okay. Yeah, okay. right. Baton Rouge native for sure. For the people at home, you know what I'm saying? What was it like coming up to Baton Rouge? I'm gonna keep it straight. I be hearing people say that shit was all bad. I ain't never really had no bad moments because a nigga adjusted. A nigga made do like nigga made the best of their situation and you ain't even knowing you was to make the best of it. So you nigga wake up smiling and playing every day, you know what I'm saying? As a kid, you hear me? You know, life is life. Life be life. I feel like the shit you went through as a kid molded you into what you got going on as for today or as how you look at shit. But you wake up Going through every day is what you molded yourself to like teach us. You know what I'm saying? It's just natural. A nigga don't wake up, you like, I'm a ooh, ooh, ooh. It's just natural instincts and so that shit started from you. Differentiate between good and bad, like it was just life. You know, bad when nigga die or, or, or like, you know, bad, 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 nigga do 20. But other than that, yeah, shit be kosher. You find what I'm saying? Like, nigga don't be tripping on daily drama. I ain't gonna stink. It's up everywhere with you. It ain't just war zone though, to where you can't walk outside or anything. Right. <laughs> That's the goat right there. That's Big Eater, you hear me? Big Eater. Yeah. Big Eater. I know y'all see right now, this this home for a nigga too. We treacherous. We ain't got no big studios and then we go too. It's treacherous. Chips in the mud, you know what I'm saying? Man, we ain't got no big studio. This will make a nigga comfortable though. You know what I'm saying? I know we going left, but I feel like this. Not how you know when artists blow up, the best music they make is when they first start off, and that's because you, you know you was more hungry, you you in the trenches with the shit while you doing it. You know what I'm saying? You wake up and blow up, I mean, you you sign a deal, they put you in this big studio for hours. You ain't thugging no more. Right. You in the right. studio, you know what I'm saying? Right. I feel like we influenced all this shit. Shit, shit. We, man, I, I feel like I feel I feel like we influenced the world all this. Shit. Like People don't Louisiana, give us our credit, like, 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 like Louisiana too. as a whole, like, right. Right. not just bad rules, just Louisiana as a whole, like we influenced a lot of oh, states, you feel me? I was in Texas, right. you feel what I'm saying, yeah, like it's up, I ain't never heard nobody talk about this up, and it, but, it, but started it started down here, you feel what I'm saying? Stand on business started out here, really? Really, man. Shit, 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 what up? When I used to be in Texas, I used to hear people say like, man, those hoes fire, like, four, five, those hoes, those hoes fire, like, speaking of something like object or some shit, you know, those hoes, now it's like, everybody like, man, no bitches dumb, yeah, no yeah. bitches yeah. pressure, no bitches pressure, yeah, I be like, damn, bro, that's yeah, crazy, yeah, it's just that rap, all Louisiana shit, you heard me, yeah. like that, you heard me, like that, you hear me? There's a lot of legends who come up out of here musically and shit like that. Uh, you know, how does that feel to be coming up in that way? You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna stop. Them niggas ain't never do nothing for me, but at the same time, I pay homage. But niggas ain't never do nothing for me, bro. I f with them. I look up to them. What I just told you. I look up to them. I don't mean to sound fucked up, but it ain't nothing like niggas who then got on and got then got put in the door that made other millionaires from out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, got it and made millionaires out his city. It ain't too, and that was niggas in his city right. that he put on. You know what I'm saying? Right. It ain't so too many niggas. So you guys are saying some of your top tier dogs aren't doing that? 
I ain't gonna say that. I don't know what a nigga got going on, but I'm just speaking as for. First of all, nigga don't want no handout, nothing like that. No nigga don't want none of that. I'm just speaking as for getting in the door and putting your city on. Right. You feel me? You know, we put that. It's sold up just off the way that we already coming. As a whole, anyways, you feel we both had this bitch sold up, man. We take over the industry. This shit be like this bitch, like this bitch crab in the buckets, my nigga. You hear me? Everybody wanna be, you know. Everybody wanna be big dog. Everybody wanna be number one. Bitch, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? I don't know though. I feel like my dog closer to the room. I'ma pass that. We trying to scope, you heard me? Nigga trying to dunk on you, man. As long as a nigga slam dunk and we hear woo-hoo, I feel like we won. Nigga ain't tripping on this side, bro. What you got to say, Eater, man? This is a Louisiana legend. Let me say something. That's a Louisiana legend. He's a blueprint to this shit. He got the pass into the room. We all got to play our position, you see what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? I done did my thing already in these streets, you know what I'm saying? You got to pass it to these young niggas as they, as they were right now, you know what I'm saying? Type shit. So, it ain't about me right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could say buku shit about this nigga right now, but you know, you got to let him pop his shit. You know what I'm saying? So you said every man for themselves, but it seems like you guys have like a lot of support as far as the music goes out here. Would you guys say your kind of stay in your communities and shit really support the shit you guys are doing, right, musically? Shit, no. No, man, I swear to God. Yeah. Oh, no. Say, man, that, man, I feel like with my right hand and my left hand man, you find what I'm saying? Nigga, nigga's pride be in the way. Like he say, nigga gotta play their role and take a man to say some shit like that, bro. When you build a team and you structure, that's the only way you gon' Elevate and get to the next level. Speaking of uh, doing it yourself and stuff like that, um, you got the t shirt printer, you got the studio. Yeah, this the, this, the, this the vibes, bro. We in this we a uh, play sheet and that took a place. We daycare, do we do the shirts, whatever you need. This one stop shop, bro. Check this out for the young niggas that's listening. The average millionaire has seven sources of income. You just you choose on what you do with the okay. you feel me? Yeah. One, two. Three. You know what I mean? You get the picture of what I'm saying. You feel me? What are some of the struggles kind of coming up in Baton Rouge and shit? What do you guys say? It's like niggas down here want to be the nigga with the most bodies. Like, really? like it's different. Like in New York and shit, bro, I be seeing big dogs. Niggas look up to niggas that's getting money. Nigga that's on some yeah shit down here. Nigga want the most hats. You got, you got four or five hats, but you broke. You go to jail, you can't burn out. The culture fucked up. At an all time high. Fucked up. Yeah, yeah Shreveport oh, fucked up. New Orleans fucked up. It's but we roll though. That's what's like. If you know we, any nigga that it came out in the industry that's from Louisiana, top. Yeah. You yeah. know, like, like we stand out from everybody. Really the sick, really the sick. Cause when you guys do get in the industry, motherfuckers staying power is crazy. Yeah. Boozy, that motherfucker yeah. selling out shows still a decade later. Yeah. All right. You know what I'm saying? Bitch. Even like real legends come up out of this state. A lot of hidden talent down here too, you find what I'm saying? Like my little brothers live one bands up D, let Huncho. Let dude stuck in bro. One bands up D, Guap Star, Lil Huncho. My name two, two three. Two three. The real two three, no, the real two three. The real two three. Real two three. I did notice that like it seems like everybody out here has a gang of kids. What is that about? Is that a Louisiana thing? Man. Think of my man. I got five kids, bro. You got five kids. Check this out bro, though. Like, be so crazy. I, I got five. I got three boys, two girls. I got two kids born the same day. Two different mamas though. Like same year. Two. How does that happen? Like real, That's crazy. real twins. I really just put my mix out there. I don't be telling people that shit though, but I tell everybody they twins, but they got two different mamas, same date. Oh, you guys are all young. You guys are all young dudes. Got yeah. multiple kids and shit. I got three. I got three. I got three daughters. That make you to a man though. Three. Overall, like I said, every time I hop on the internet and do some research about BR though, like why do you guys get the rap of it being such a dangerous section? Like because because it's small. <laughs> it's really so small. small. Yeah, it's small. Really small. small. Yeah. It's just so small, bro. You go, you 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 laughing to run. Into your enemy, you feel me? So up top, the water clearer, you hear me? Down yeah, south, it's, it's more like, muddier and swampy. It's just some shit you can't explain. Like, yeah. we. I don't know, we just fucked up, bro. Yeah. But they got some good yeah, niggas out here, yeah, bro. Like, I feel like we the smartest people. Like, we the most 
Mind sharpen when it come to street sense. A Louisiana nigga for you, bro. Ask them hoes about a Louisiana nigga, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you been a street part of this? But see, we different. The street part, they Compare and contrast. Compare and contrast with the people at home. What's the difference between here and street part? I mean, them boys ratchet. They ratchet out. They do ratchet. They ratchet. We okay. jigger city. You know what I mean? Like, we, 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 the, we the city. Yeah. Like we more clean and we care about haircuts and yeah, yeah, being yeah. fresh. Yeah. We from Baton Rouge, we not from Louisiana. It's, you know like, what I'm it's like New Orleans. New Orleans, yeah. New Orleans they own the country. It's like New Orleans. They, they different. They different. That makes it sound crazy, but yeah, dude, we from Dior. You, know, you, know, you know, that's like you from Houston. You feel like Houston is its own it's state. It's its if own, that makes sense. Its own city. Its own state. Yeah. Own vibes. Own everything. And don't feel like I'm dumb. Whoever watching, I know Houston is a city. I'm just like Houston, so big and just so everybody in Houston be on. The same type of time, the same type of shit. You feel me? The same thing with BR, bro. This itself, like, we stand out from New Orleans. We stand out from Shreveport, Monroe. Like, everybody different. Like, everybody got their own swag. You feel me? As a whole. But a Louisiana nigga in general, you feel me? Self explanatory. I'm Seems like you guys are in another wave of craziness and stuff. Would you guys say that kind of happened post COVID or during COVID or how long? It's been like that. Been like this. Been like that. Been like this. All right, been like this. All right, like this. I'm gonna show you some shit right now that's got the whole world fucked up, bro. These right here, it's a fucking opiate crisis, my nigga. These, them bitches. You take these up and screw your ass, nigga, if you want one of these, you're like, where they at? I'll give you a dub for it right now. Right now. Perk Opiates is at an all time high, bro. But these bitches, so you know what I'm saying? You drugged up and fucked up. So you just 30 days straight. You've been on this type of thing. So now your mindset, this is normal to you. The way you're thinking, the way you're moving, the way you're going. So the average person, next street nigga, on that type of time too. And two mountains of class too. Man, I never, you feel me? So two fucked up minds will never come to. An agreement or or two drunk people never have a sit down and talk. They gonna hurt. You feel me? Right. And but you blinded to this part of it though. You're not even saying, man. It's cause of the perks on flesh and my bad, bro. You just thinking like, man, this nigga got me fucked up. Right. Man, what you steady watching me for? Say my, what you want? <laughs> you ain't finna stand down from you. It's finna be a bang out. Right. You feel right. me? And then the bloodshed, and then again, there's no going back. And now your people beefing with his people, and it's up. Forever, but you gotta go through shit to get yourself together, bro. Like, you gotta, like, nah, my partner died in front of me, son. Like, my partner, I watched my partner die here. I mean, that shit changed my perspective on a lot of shit. It didn't turn me pussy, it turned me to a monster, but it, you know what I'm saying? You move different after you go through certain situations, you feel me? But you gotta go through that to know to move different from it, if it makes sense. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna bring you over there because it's up around there right now. No, you know, I know it's a war zone, so I appreciate it. Appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I ain't gonna bring you over there. It's up right now. My little brother, them out there right now. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think the youngsters need to get back on What's track? Guidance. Just guidance, more guidance. More guidance. opportunities. Yeah. It's gonna take for a nigga. Like a nigga ain't trying to listen to no big dog or let no nigga big dog them. It's gonna take for one of them niggas in their circle. It's gonna take for one of their peers to want to do better. Like BBGD, you feel me? He got his life right and got his right with God. You right. feel what I'm saying? And one thing I want to ask as well is now that you've gave your life to God, how do you feel about your ops now? Oh, I love them. I want them to get their life to God. Like, cause. The way we, what we had going on, we was, it was the blind leading the blind. Like, you can't fight fire with fire. Like, if a fire burning, you can't go put fire out with fire. You got to throw some water on there or something, you feel me? But it's like, his partner, so he was fucked with, well, I don't know, I'm going to speak on those situations just outside looking in, but it seemed like they ain't jump on his wave or won't fuck with that and won't right. get right with God, you feel what I'm saying? They feel like he too far gone with God, you feel me? And they look like that, like it's lame to a sense and a lot of people only call on God when something happened to him, bro. Mm -hmm. Don't only call, don't only pray when you need him because mm -hmm. he ain't going to come through. It take somebody in their circle, these young niggas, one of the niggas that's amongst them to get their shit straight. Because 
I ain't gonna stand. You put my like like my partner right here. That bitch hustle. It been the hustle. That shit motivate me to go get money. I'm I'm a rapper, dog. I need a hustler. I'm the rapper. Say so. we was in front of the stove thugging it like real life till about five in the morning, real tall. Damn. My cousin up some crack babies, but acting like a junkie. I've been sleeping at the trap lately. I've been getting it in, can't get comfortable again. I've been fing up my money, but I always running up again. Now I'm cool for the day, I guess that I can take it in. But I'm in overtime, I'm thugging, bitch, I'm trying to play a bid. Hey, say, check this out. Produced by Pill, bro. Produced by Pill. Get at him before he blow up, man. I swear to God, that nigga, that's who make all my beats, bro. Pill, what up? What See, look at him. What up? He in the studio right now. You hear me? You vibes? Um, so how old you is, Pill? I'm 16, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking goat. Hey, this uh, this Valley Club, man. You know, I just had to show you some cameo on this to get you some love, man. Tell him your Instagram name. Proud Pill. Proud that Pill. Oh, 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 yeah. Tell them where you at. I'm in Estonia, Europe. Oh shit. Shit, shit. They don't even understand. You say it one more time, bro. Estonia, Europe. That's yeah. Europe. Shit, shit. You good, huh, little bro? Every song I just played, every song that's on the tape on Overtime, he made these bitches, bro. Overtime coming soon. Overtime coming soon. <laughs> Nigga, so influenced me, Boosie. I ain't gonna sit up and stand, man. When I was in the bus on middle school, all I bump was Boosie, bro. Boosie. That's it. Webby. Boosie. Webby. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't give people a hot, but you know that nigga called Hood. What that nigga name is Young Lee. Brother. Young Lee. And my brother right here. Two, three, three, you hear me? I told you. Baton Rouge legend. He gonna be on Diamonds of the Dirt. Mike, two, three. S4 lit Mike, you feel what I'm saying? Baton Rouge legend, you heard me? The real boys, if you know the real boys, nigga know who lit Mike is, man. Yeah, check me out, I rock, I if you know, roll. If you heard of the real boys, nigga know who lit Mike is, man. That, that, that nigga started me rapping, real talk. You see? That nigga started me rapping, man. See? Started me like real shit. That nigga started me rapping, man. That nigga right there. You ain't like too good a legend, for real, man. <laughs> What's up? Mike, what the nigga this bitch? Yeah. What up, Moon? What's up, Arrow? You hear me? What's up with your bitch, Corner? I'm the girl of boy to the death, baby. You hear me? Yeah, death baby. <laughs> Hey, what up, Luxury Moon? What's up, baby? Like I say, nigga know who, nigga know the Ville Boys, nigga yeah. know that Mike, huh? Nigga, nigga Baton Rouge Legend, hey, Diamonds of the Dirt. That's a, that's a, that's a popular film that's going down on here, bro. Who that bitch, you find what I'm saying? Go check that out. We, we gonna, gonna, we we gonna, gonna no, kick the door in. You gonna, you gonna, you gonna, you gonna kick the door in for us watching this right here. We gonna be sending a million dollar room a year from now, my nigga. Off of this right here. From Glen Oak Store. Yeah, we from the nose. We from the nose. Yeah, man. We throw threes. We throw threes. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? We throw threes. I throw threes. We throw threes for sure. You know what I'm saying? Glen Oaks for people at home. Where is that? Like geographically in Baton Rouge? Northside. Northside. Like Northside. Northside. Yeah. Allies to make. Allies to make. Tight. It's all Glen Oaks. It's all Glen Oaks right there. And then and then and then you got Zion City right there. But it's 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 by Glen Oaks. You hear me? It's right there. Yeah. Type shit. Then you got Sky. Yeah, city. it's on city though. It's on little it's on little hood. It's but, on hood, I mean, yeah. But it's right there. But it's right there. It's right there type shit. Then you got Skyland and Banks and shit. But it's all it on it's all together, but it's 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 just different, man. It's different out there. Like how you got the south, you got the top and the bottom, right. but well that's really both the south folks and shit. Yeah. But it's two different it's two different sides. See it's, we it's don't got gangs out here, bro. Well they I got a lot of but it's really mostly hoods, you know what I'm saying? Like it ain't just Crips and Bloods out. We ain't no nigga, nigga even we don't know nothing about that out here, no Crips and Bloods. Like it ain't no gang politic culture. Like we'll go to another city, I got on blue, he got on red, but we, you know what I'm saying? We wouldn't even know. And we walk in the counter. Yeah, but we wouldn't even know. See the street they bang out though. Yeah. It, they bang. They go to example, like how you just say they bang out there. They show you how there. different it is in each city, even though that just a couple hours up the road, the culture's so different. In the room to neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? That's how this shit go. But you got a couple niggas that'll go over here and f with them and be cool. I'ma tell you some cool shit. They be when they lock in, you know You can meet a nigga yesterday that met, that, that keep it real <coughs> than a nigga you've been knowing your whole life, bro. What advice do y'all guys got for the next generation coming up? Man, stay, stay alive. alive. Stay, stay, stay dangerous. Even, even though I, und I understand you got to keep that bitch you got to be at the same time finish school, man. Finish school. Yeah, go to business. school. Shout out two, three. Shout out my little nigga Hancho. Shout out my nigga D. Shout out, free my nigga Hogan. Freely meet you, baby. Free
Free the Cobra, the mm. Trish, baby. Free my nigga Y2, you feel me? Free Y2. You know what I'm saying? Free the Y2, man. You just said one year we gonna win, bitch? One year we gonna win. <laughs> next next multi show. Multi-million dollar situation, for real. Remember that, boy. Remember that. Oh, my nigga used to be thugging, man. Niggas used to be thugging out there in Canada, baby. You hear me? Niggas know. Yeah, my free let say it, man. Real talk. Free let say it, man. Shout out to DJ B Lock, man. My dog, man. Just be hitting licks, thugging sh all in this sh for metals. Real talk, man. <laughs> you just be thugging bad. Real sh. Sherwood Boulevard? Yeah, Sherwood. Yeah, you can say that. It's the Boulevard, man. Thugging over. Niggas in jail, yeah, niggas used to be, niggas, niggas used to tear the down, but now niggas in jail and shit. Are they dead, real Yeah, this shell, this still shell, it's just the boulevard. It's the boulevard, it's the other side of shell. It's the boulevard. Real tough. Real, I'm about to get out of here. Holy shit, those motherfuckers do look crazy. Yeah, bro, it's tough. I feel the cuz, man. Yeah. The reaper, man. I feel my little nigga, man. Six with that bitch. Mira Akira Tina. In my city, he get wicked. Let's not talk about them killers. He get wicked. Say that pipe, get out the way and leave no witness. Nigga say ain't doing no work, get in and yo and go to distance. About my business, stand no business. Leave no cases on the mission. Still a spinning out my top. I pop this block until it locked. Just got the drop, I grab the chop. It's off the block at 3 o'clock. He coming out, we let off shots. He heard that brrrr. Called the cops, they gon' be stopped. I told him no, I just put 60 in the mile. Brand new chop without the stock. I'm finna swap it for two glock. Finish block and crap his top. We the reason that it's hash. Down there with the kid, he needs to go to Park Forest and Middle here. All oh, my niggas. Thugging at this bitch. Niggas be thugging when I was on 12, 13. This is where I really drop my nets at over here. Right over here. Yeah, right over here. This is where I drop my nets at, man. Turn it up, turn it up. Yeah, I'm gonna show you my little house. 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 Yeah, I'm gonna show you my little all them hoes in Park Forest know what's saying. Stop playing with a nigga, man. All them hoes in Southeast Men in Park Forest, y'all know what's saying. It's to be in that bitch right now. Stop playing with me, man. Right. Turn it up, man. You know, shit, where Webby from here, too? This is where Webby from. Really? Yeah, that's where you from right though. That's right here. Yeah, same. That's where you from. That's where you from. Like, you ever seen, uh, Ghetto Music? Oh. Ghetto Music, the DVD? That's where they, that's where they shot this shit over here. Right over here? Yeah, they had the Gutter Music. They, when, they, when they first came out, their first DVD came out, they had it all right over here. Go to music yeah. DVD. Yeah, man. Go to music DVD. Right. No, yeah. Gangsta music. Gangsta music, man. That's when they first came out type shit. Like, Boots and Webby, man. Good talk. I think that's Albies right there. That's the story that the little famous hood store at Albies right there. Famous? Yeah, little You can say that. <laughs> Niggas got beat up at that shit, so. Albies. Albies, man. Right there. Shit, shit, bro. We can go to that now. RP the one and Gus too, man. Them niggas was up, man. RP them niggas, man. The Mr. Exposed one. Gotta pay homage to them niggas, man. Real for real. Graveyard. That's a graveyard right there. See that crazy in the middle of the street? <laughs> that's the graveyard shit. I need to get my damn hair done. All my shit right there, right? Stuff. I used to stay. <laughs> that's the guy from Fritz back in the day. Northside Airline and Wilburn. This, this shit right here, Ghost Town. I had my days out shit too. This Ghost Town right here. Yeah, yeah. How yeah. Park you said? How Park? Yeah, this How Park right here. Yeah. This How Park right there. This ghost Town. All this shit, Ghost Town right here. This is the Ghost Town. You know what I'm saying? This is this where the rapper level from. Level from here. Both the artists is over here. We shit, we in the set of L5, girl. Off their day straight. That's where young boy from, you hear me? We all be like, they know, they know, they know. <laughs> they know. They know. Stay out, man. 
Yeah. But, but see, 38 the main is the main little street though. Right. The size of this shit here, everything got this set and this set. That's the young boy, man. This is the girl, that's the little blood. Tell right here. Murder zone right here, so it's drive right here. Yeah, this where young boy from, 38 to Chippewa. Yeah, Chippewa. That's why I say this young boy, that's why I say this young boy. People, everybody, the whole thing. People shit right there. That is like one thing to see. Put it down, Michelle. Yeah, Michelle. Come on, that bitch right there, man. Tell it. It's right there. That's the that's that shit right there. That's that bitch right there. Niggas to tear down at that bitch from fighting, shooting, all that. Right there. Renaissance. We had the Renaissance. Shout out to Mike. Yeah, but really. Mike two three real talk. We had the Renaissance to go down there right here, man. Real talk. Right. This is man the 15 and 16, 14. Thugging right here. Real talk, man. Turn right. Oh no. Yeah, turn right and then make a left. Okay. Big lock, big lock, big big Appreciate you, Bailey, for coming out here, man. Fucking with a nigga, you hear me? Real talk. You know it was raining this shit, man. I appreciate you, real talk. Most niggas don't do it. Most niggas scared to come down here. But hey, you got heart, my nigga. I fuck with that. So you stamp out here, my boy. You stamp, man. Real shit. When you come back out here, it's gonna be more retarded. You hear me? Yeah. Welcome to that rank. Valley Club.